Hello, welcome. Today we're looking at this idea of fermentation in yeast and fermentation is another way of talking about anaerobic respiration in yeast. So if you've watched the video previous to this, you may remember that when we have anaerobic respiration in yeast, we have this summary equation. We've got glucose that is then in a reaction that produces ethanol and carbon dioxide. So this is respiration without oxygen. And just to remind ourselves, yeast is a microorganism, so I can just enlarge that to, so we can see. Yeast is a microorganism that um, carries out anaerobic respiration. It can do aerobic respiration as well, but here we've made it so it can only do anaerobic by stopping any oxygen from getting in. So there's our yeast happily respiring away in our container, which is a conical flask. And this is producing two products. Those two products are ethanol and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide will leave through this tube, whereas the ethanol will be produced and stay inside the container. Now, ethanol is alcohol. So this process, this process of fermentation can be used to produce alcohol. So should we say actually more accurately produce alcoholic drinks. Uh, things like um, beer that can be produced in this way. So this process can produce alcoholic drinks because of the alcohol that's produced. Um, the, the alcohol or the ethanol here can also be used as a fuel. The type of fuel that we talk about is biofuel. So this ethanol that's produced can also be burnt to produce a fuel. So this is one use of anaerobic respiration in yeast, or in other words, one use of fermentation. Another use is based on the idea that carbon dioxide is produced. And remember, carbon dioxide is a gas. So we use this idea in baking bread. So imagine we've got some dough. So if I was just to draw supposed to be some dough, which makes bread. If we have some yeast inside there, it can carry out fermentation or anaerobic respiration, produce carbon dioxide gas, and that will produce little bubbles inside the dough. After a while, keep it in warm conditions. After a while, the dough will rise, and this gives bread a slightly better texture, makes it nicer and lighter to eat. So this is our dough. We would then bake that in the oven. Remember, ethanol is produced in this process as well. This is alcohol. So we don't want alcohol in our bread. But luckily, when we bake this in the oven, all the ethanol evaporates away and is gone. So we end up with a nice loaf of bread it might look a bit like this. Not quite sure that that's the color of bread, but uh, you understand this is bread that's been baked from this dough that has yeast in it. So this is just really an outline of two potential uses of this idea of fermentation in yeast. One is to produce alcoholic drinks or even produce biofuel because of the ethanol. And the other is to use the carbon dioxide, which helps dough to rise when we bake bread. Okay, so that's it. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon.